what's it what's it like been doing all this during this kind of weird covid lockdown period how have you guys adapted yeah. to that yeah so i always like to what is the silver lining in any kind of difficult situation i always try to think about that and with covid obviously really difficult situation for the world um but for us i i realized okay if we're forced to all go do this experiment where we work from home, we work, we work remotely, how can we turn that into an advantage? And so what I did was I, I wrote up some of my thinking on that and published it. And we talked about Coinbase as a remote first company. Um, and what that means is that even if some of us are eventually able to return to the offices, and of course, you're going to have to be socially distanced in the office. So our offices probably will only be able to get 40, 50 percent capacity um, anyway. But once we have a few people back in the office, we all need to keep operating as if we're remote so that there's no advantage to being in the office or out of the office. Um, and I think what it's going to do is actually be a huge advantage for us because we're able to hire now people from many different areas. Um, you no longer have to be within commuting distance of one of our offices in the world. We can get people all over the world. And um, there's some drawbacks, too. I mean, it's a little bit more difficult to get that spontaneous creativity um, that happens when you walk by someone at the lunch table or keeping everybody aligned towards like, what is the mission? What are, what are our goals this quarter? You know, you have to really invest in that stuff and just the relationship building too, like the friendships that happen at work. Um, we're working on how to, ways to recreate that in a remote first environment. So I don't mean to say that it's all better, but I think on net, it's going to be actually be a big advantage for us. It feels like it's going to be a big shift change for San Francisco itself as a tech hub. Yeah, I would agree. I've, I've already seen some reports in the changes in the geography of the city, the change in rents, the change in property prices. It feels like it, whilst uh, the innovation has led in Silicon Valley, it feels like it will also be the first place to really push this kind of remote working and huge, huge change for the city, right? Yeah, I think that's right. It's The rents were getting a little crazy in, in SF and there wasn't more housing being built. And so it was getting more and more difficult for people to kind of earn a living wage and actually live within commuting distance of offices in major, major cities in general. But SF was probably the worst in the U.S. in that regard. Um, so I think you're right. A lot of the employees we've talked to, um, they're thinking about moving out more permanently, um, either to more rural areas or just to other lower cost cities. So I think it'll be sort of an evening out, like probably rents and, and wages in really the most dense metro areas will kind of come down a bit and the rest of the areas will come up a bit. So it'll be interesting.